ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಂ ಪರಮ you all let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of mahasuda shiva om nityananda parama shivo ham om nityananda parama shivo ham om nitya ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪಾಂಟಿಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಂದೂಯಿಸಂ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಮಹಾ ಸನ್ನಿಧಾನ ಹೆಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಹೋಲಿನೆಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮ ಶಿವಂ ವಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವ್ಯೂಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ to the most auspicious uttam uttama seva to parama shiva offered from the nityanandeshwara parama shiva devalaya in adi kailash sarvajna peetam in the hours before we graced we are graced with the darshan of his divine holiness of the parama shiva himself this is the most opportune time for us to prepare ourselves our body and mind forward for those of you tuning in for the first time to kailasha nityananda tv welcome to the official tv channel for shri kailasha the only and greatest hindu nation in the world nityananda parmashivam his divine holiness is the reviver of kailasha the ancient enlightened civilization and the great cosmic borderless hindu of the parmashiva himself his this divine is holiness most. is an avatar from and is the supreme pontiff of hinduism His divine holiness has made signs of power manifestation yoga and temple based universities for humanity sovereign order of kailasha led by his divine holiness and nityananda order of monks nuns and hindu diaspora are working for global peace and to give super consciousness breakthrough to humanity Nityananda Hindu University is the world's largest university with extended campuses in 150 countries is collecting organizing preserving time capsuling decoding spreading and reviving 20 million source books of hinduism and the 64 sacred arts and sciences like ayurveda music dance sculpting astrology and vastu his divine holiness is the 93rd gurmaha sanidhanam of shyamala peeta sarvagya peetam the ancient apex body of hinduism and the present emperor of surya vamshi surangi samrajyam his divine holiness has survived the worst persecution of many assassination attempts on person and character by anti hindu elements to explore the videos you can visit kailash nityananda youtube channel if you are one of the millions kailashians across the world kailasha is the nation with which is revived with by his divine holiness as told by his divine holiness kailasha is nothing but the enlightened ecosystem in of tiruvannamalai gone right Tirunamalai is the home of Arunachala the mighty mountain form that Parameshwara decided to take which is exalted in Arunachala Mahatyam as Nama Smarana Matrena Yat Prakavi Na Nashanam that which destroys all sins and grants the eternal state of Parameshwara by merely remembering the its name arunachala 
At the center of this civilization was the Guru Sishya Parampara, the tradition of learning from Guru in all different kinds of fields and passing that knowledge through generations. The Sri Guru Gita says, as how Sanatana Hindu Dharma, the most valued quality is being an open receiver, a ready listener, and the most esteemed action is learning. It was defined since the time of Paramashiva that the sacred knowledge and transcendental wisdom, the jnana, the being who imparts this knowledge, the Guru, and all those who receive it also, the Sishya, are together a quite essential combination for the conscious growth for any being in the journey of life. After thousands of years of thriving and advancing the evolution of humanity with new methods of communication and excelled comprehension, these civilizations were among the first on planet Earth to rapidly grow and experience abundance in the form of wealth, health, and prosperity. The Vedic civilization was the richest civilization which contributed the largest share of the world's GDP in the year 1000. The richness in knowledge and the material wealth attracted one and all to experience the Vedic lifestyle, which, is, which was a gifted to the world by Paramashiva. However, it also became the target for growing negative forces who sought to rob the gold, destroy the temples, and enslave people. Whatever we enjoy from Hinduism today is directly because of the Guru Sishya Parampara, which has safeguarded the ancient signs of enlightenment from the time of Paramashiva. Even into the modern day, as mainstream and corruption pervade, countries and billions more souls undergo torture inflicted by ruling negative forces. The Guru Sishya Parampara has continued to bring to the world and the sacred knowledge of enlightenment. Naturally, evolving relationships, communities and ideologies which are based in peace, love and conflict-free life. As opposing violent and negative forces grow on one side, in multi multifarious ways and agree for mutually assured destruction, in a conscious effort to bring more peace and bliss in the world, Hindu gurus have single-handedly fueled the ideologies which strengthen consciousness and peacefully revolutionize the way of life for every human being on planet Earth. Despite being stripped of any form of protection, Ultimately, it was due to the sacrifice of the gurus who were able to withstand attack and protect this knowledge. And today, Hinduism has survived the most violent attack against a single civilization. Peaceful, working solutions derived from Vedic sciences were sought after even in the West, where it was bought by Hindu gurus who once again began traveling all over the world to bring a conscious breakthrough to humanity. For example, in 1983, Swami Vivekananda, who was a product of the lineage of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and Totapuri from Calcutta, West Bengal, traveled to the United States for the first time. By bringing yoga, meditation, and the fundamental truths of Sanatana Hindu Dharma to the United States of America, it is accepted that Swami Vivekananda literally changed the world at the time he met, influenced the masses and world leaders to change their ideas about themselves, the world, and the universe in the lines of conscious breakthrough. As we continued into the 20th century, 
the guru sishya parampara produced super consciousness such as parama shiva yogananda parama hamsa yogananda mahashi mahesh yogi shri arabindo among several others who had made breakthroughs like this and together work to look overpower the growing negative forces of the world if not for paramashivas who have descended on planet earth and the guru shishya parampara which made that possible the world would be destroyed by these terribly violent people groups and ideologies today the un office this on manent affairs reports 14500 dangerous nuclear weapons which exist on earth today even one of these weapons can destroy the whole city potentially killing millions and jeopardizing the natural environment and lives of future generations through its long term catastrophic effects while only two of these nuclear weapons were actually used in 1945 when the united states army bombed the cities of hiroshima and nagasaki japan the whole world was devastated to see the extent of violence possible by man made warfare while on one side the guru shishya parampara was able to bring a conscious breakthrough the threats against these positive forces and humanity at lot still remain and continue to grow stronger the gurus who have worked tirelessly in the modern day for raising the consciousness of humanity were attacked by corrupt forces who are in invested in spreading false anti hindu narratives and inciting hatred against hindu traditions practices and leaders every hindu guru is specifically and severely targeted to stamp out the immense potential they possess to liberate the masses and lead them to a spiritual awakening hindu gurus are more and more vulnerable today to illegal arrest inhuman treatment assassination attempts and defamation to protect the hindu gurus the guru shishya parampara and allow it to continue to protect the world from destruction there needed to be a larger protection a guide for humanity to bring us the next and most ultimate breakthrough the supreme pontiff of hinduism jagat guru maha sannidhanam his divine holiness bhagwan shri nityananda parameshwaram happened on planet earth for this exact purpose his divine holiness was birthed by an esteemed group of enlightened beings including mata ji vibhudananda puri yogi raj yogi ra yogananda puri isakki swamigal narayan swami pillai and annamalai swamigal and yogi rama surat kumar in tirunamallai in 1978 from a species time of his advent on earth his divine holiness perfectly demonstrated all the signs of super consciousness manifesting his divine life unfolded in deeply devotional unfathomable leelas as the adorn incarnation of the whole town of tirunamallai and on 24 may 1994 his divine holiness was ritualistically coronated as the incarnation of parama shiva by his gurus during this yoga patta abhishekam his gurus proudly declared the successful manifestation of the ultimate super consciousness through the body of his divine holiness and he was conferred the title of sri brahma sukhi by his immediate predecessor mata ji vibhudananda puri shortly after this coronation his gurus left the body and attained the state of maha samadhi the final state of oneness with parama shiva 
In 1995, His Divine Holiness auspiciously began his tireless work for the revival of the great enlightened civilization on planet Earth, Sri Kailasha. As the final statement to thousands of years of ruthless persecution, against Hindu gurus, His Divine Holiness has successfully revived the world's only Hindu nation and through this bring super consciousness breakthrough for the whole humanity. Through the nation of Kailasha, with Swami Vivekananda visualized Sri Aurobindo aspired Osho worked for, Maharshi mandated, His Divine Holiness actually made it. Today, we are have offering the Uttam Uttam Seva to Paramashiva, Devi Parashakti, and Mother Goddess Saraswati. Uttam Uttam Seva is offering the best of the best to Paramashiva. The all the best thing that Paramashiva bestowed upon us, offering them back at his feet is Uttam Uttam Seva. Swamiji says, self-drive is a source of knowledge a human being has. Means that is Saraswati. The self-drive is Mother Saraswati. Knowledge is not the number of books you read. Knowledge is not the number of concepts you know. Knowledge is amongst, among the most the self-drive you have. Giving the right context to the self-drive is the only job of Saraswati, the goddess of wisdom, the knowledge. When there is a right context, self-drive never gets dried up. If it gets dried up, it is from the wrong context. It is the lower level pleasures. It is not self-drive. Self-drive which gets dried up is from violence or from greed. The self-drive, which comes out of fear and greed, gets dried up just in a few days. Giving the right context for your self-drive is the job of Saraswati, the goddess of all the knowledge and wisdom. All the knowledge, the reason for all the knowledge, reason for all the books, reason for all the knowledge transmission mechanism is to give you the right context of your self-drive. To give the right context of your self-drive. Giving the right context of your self-drive is the source, purpose, reason, cause, the sole cause of your knowledge. Your self-drive is the greatest wealth you can have, which will never be lost, which will come with you for births after births after births. Self-drive is the only and only wealth you carry from one birth to another birth. Today, let's offer the Uttam Uttama Seva to Mother Saraswati. The Uttam Uttama Seva offered by our Gurukul Balasans, offering at the lotus feet of His Divine Holiness, Nityananda Paramashivam as gratitude. Let us all stay tuned to offer this sacred offering to Goddess Saraswati and get the blessings of the Mother and His Divine Holiness. I bless you all. Let you all open all your three eyes and manifest. Powers of Mahasada Shiva. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Shivoham, Om 
ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಆದಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಸದ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ 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 ಐ ಕಲಿ ಕಲ್ಮಶ ನಾಶಿನಿ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ವೈದಿಕ ರೂಪಿಣಿ ವೇದಮಯೆ ಕ್ಷೀರ ಸಮುದ್ಭವ ಮಂಗಲ ರೂಪಿಣಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ನಿವಾಸಿ ಮಂತ್ರನು ದೇ ಮಂಗಲದಾಯಿನಿ ಅಂಬುಜವಾಚಿ ದೇವಗನಾಶ್ರಿತ ಪಾದಯುತೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಧಾನ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಸದ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ 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 ಜಯ ಬರ ವರ್ಷಿಣಿ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿ ಭಾಗವಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣಿ ಮಂತ್ರಮಯೆ ಸುರಗುಣ ಪೂಜಿತ ಶೀಘ್ರ ಫಲಪ್ರದ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಕಾಶಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರನು ತೇ ಭವ ಭಯಹಾರಿಣಿ ಪಾಪ ವಿಮೋಚಿ ಸಾಧು ಜನಾಶ್ರಿತ ಪಾದಯುತೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಧೈರ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಸದ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ 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 ಜಯ ಜಯ ದುರ್ಗತಿ ನಾಶಿನಿ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಸರ್ವ ಫಲಪ್ರದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಮಯೆ ರಥ ಗಜ ತುರಗ ಪದಾಕಿ ಸಮಾವೃತ ಪರಿಜನ ಮಂಡಿತ ಲೋಪನುತೆ ಹರಿಹರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸುಪೂಜಿತ ಸೇವಿತ ತಾಪ ನಿವಾರಿಣಿ ಪಾದಯುತೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಗಜಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ರೂಪೇಣ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ ಗಜಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ರೂಪೇಣ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ ಗಜಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ರೂಪೇಣ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ ಗಜಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ರೂಪೇಣ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ ಗಜಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ರೂಪೇಣ ಪಾಲ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ ಐ ಖಗವಾಹಿನಿ ಮೋಹಿನಿ ಚಕ್ಕಿನಿ ರಾಘವಿವರ್ಧಿನಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಗೆ ಗುಣಗನ ವಾರಥಿ ಲೋಕಹಿತೈಷಿನಿ ಸಪ್ತಸ್ವರ ಭೂಷಿತ ಗಾನನು ತೇ ಸಕಲ ಸುರಾಸುರ ದೇವ ಮುನೀಶ್ವರ ಮಾನವ ವಂದಿತ ಪಾದಯುತೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಸಂತಾನ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ತ್ವಂ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ 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 ಜಯ ಕಮಲಾಸಿನಿ ಸದ್ಗತಿದಾಯಿನಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಕಾಸಿನಿ ಕಾನಮಯೆ ಅನುದಿನ ಮರ್ಚಿತ ಕುಂಕುಮಧೂಸರ ಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಚಿತ ವಾದ್ಯನು ತೇ ಕನಕಧರಾಸ್ತುತಿ ವೈಭವ ವಂದಿತ ಶಂಕರ ದೇಶಿಕ ಮಾನ್ಯ ಪದೇ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಜಯ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಸದ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ ವಿಜಯ 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 ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಸದ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ ಪ್ರಣತ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಿ ಭಾರತಿ ಭಾರ್ಗವಿ ಶೋಕ ವಿನಾಶಿನಿ ರತ್ನಮಯೆ ಮನಿಮಯ ಭೂಷಿತ ಕರ್ತ ವಿಭೂಷಣ ಶಾಂತಿ ಸಮಾವೃತ ಹಾಸ್ಯ ಮುಖೆ ನವನಿಧಿ ದಾಯಿನಿ ಕಲಿಮಲಹಾರಿಣಿ ಕಾಮಿತ ಫಲಪ್ರದ ಹಸ್ತಯುತೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಸದ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ 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 ಹಿಮಿ ಧಿಮಿ ಧಿಂ ಧಿಮಿ ದಿಂ ಧಿಮಿ ಧಿಂ ಧಿಮಿ ಧುಂದು ವಿನಾದ ಸುಪೂರ್ಣಮಯೆ ಘುಮ ಘುಮ ಗುಂ ಘುಮ ಗುಂ ಘುಮ ಗುಂ ಘುಮ ಶಂಕ ನಿನಾದ ಸುವಾದ್ಯನು ತೇ ವೇದ ಪುರಾಣಿತಿಹಾಸ ಸುಪೂಜಿತ ವೈದಿಕ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಯುತೆ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಮಧುಸೂದನ ಕಾಮಿನಿ ಧನಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ರೂಪೇಣ ಪಾಲಯ ಮಾಂ 
धनलक्ष्मी रूपे न पालय मा 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 ओम नमो भगवते सदाशिवाय सकल तत्वात्मकाय सर्वंत्रस्वूपाय सर्वंत्राधिष्ठिताय सर्वतंत्रस्वूपाय सर्वतत्विदूराय ब्रह्मद्रवतारिणे नीलकंठाय पार्वती मनोहराय सोम सूर्यालोचनाय भस्मोदूलित विग्रहाय महामिमुकुटारणाय मणिकभूषणाय सृष्टिस्थिति प्रलय कालरौद्रवताराय दक्षाध्वरध्वंसकाय महाकाल वेदनाय मूलाधारैकनलयाय तत्वातीताय गंगाधराय सर्वेवादिदेवाय षाश्रयाय वेदाताराय त्रिवर्ग साधनाय अनकोटिब्रह्मांडनायकाय अनंतवासुकितकुशकोटकशंकुलिक पद्म महापद्मे अष्ट महानागकुलभूषणाय प्रणवस्वूपाय चिदाकाशाय आकाशदिस्वूपाय ग्रह नक्षत्र मालिने तकलाय कलंकताय सकललोकर्त्रे 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 सकललोकुरव सकललोकसाक्षिणे सकल निगम गुह्याय सकल वेदातपारगाय सकललोकर प्रदाय सकललोकशंकराय शशाकशेखराय शाश्वत निजावासाय निराभासाय निरामयाय निर्मलाय निर्मदाय निश्चिताय निरहंकाराय निरंकुशाय निष्कलंकाय निर्गुनाय निष्काय निरुप्लवाय निरुपद्रवाय निरवद्याय निरंतराय निष्कारणाय निरंतकाय निष्प्रपंचाय निस्तंगाय निर्द्वंदय निराधाराय निरागाय निष्क्रोधाय निर्लोपाय निष्पापाय निर्भयाय निर्विकाय निर्भेदाय निष्क्रियाय निस्थुलाय निशंसयाय निरुपम विभवाय निशुद्ध बुद्ध परिपूर्ण सच्चिदानंदय परमशातस्वूपाय तेजो रूपाय तेजोमयाय जय जय रुद्र महारौद्र भद्रावत महाभैरव कालभैरव कल्पातभैरव कपालमलाधर खत्वांग खत्वा चर्म पाशाकुश तमु शूल चाप बान गदा शक्ति भिंडी पाल तोमर मुतल मुद्गर पाश परिघ कुशुंडी शक्नी चक्रद्यायुध भीषण कर सहस्र मुखद श्राकाल वन विकटाट्टहात विस्फारित ब्रह्मांड मंडल नागेन्द्र कुंडल नागेन्द्र हार नागेन्द बलय नागेन्द निकेतन मृत्युम दया त्रयंबक विश्व विरूपाक्ष विश्वेश्वर विषभवाहन विश्वभूषण विश्व मुख सर्व रक्ष रक्षम ज्वलज्वल महामृत्युम मृत्यु भय नाशय नाशय चोर भय उत्दय उत्दय विष सर्प भय समय समय चोरान्मारय मारय मम शत्रून्न उच्छाटय उच्छाटय त्रिशूलेन विधारय विधारय कुठारेन भिंडी भिंडी खट्येन छिंडी छिंडी खट्वांगेन विपोधय विपोधय कुशलेन निष्पेशय निष्पेशय पाने संताटय संताटय रक्षाक्षी भीषय भीषय भूता विद्रावय विद्रावय कूष्मांड मरी चेताल ब्रह्म राक्षस गना संताटय संताटय मां अभय कुर कुर पितृत्व मां आश्वासय आश्वासय नरक भयान्मा उद्धर उद्धर संजीवय संजीवय क्षुद्रुद्या मां आप्याय आप्याय दुखा दुर मां आनंदय आनंदय शिव कवचे नमा आच्छाटय आच्छाटय मृत्युम जय त्रयंबक सदा शिव परम शिव नमस्ते नमस्ते
I bless you all. Let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of Mahasada Shiva. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham I bless you all. Let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of Mahasada Shiva. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham
The next offering of the Uttamottam Seva at the feet of Devi Nityanandeshwari Parashi Sameta Sri Nityanandeshwara Paramashiva is the offering of the Sangeeta Seva. Deva Devo Uttama Devata Sarva Bhoma Akhilanda Koti Pramhanda Nayaka Sri Nityanandeshwari Parashi Sameta Sri Nityanandeshwara Paramashiva Sangeeta Priya Sangeeta Mavadharaya Today, I'll be singing the Geetam Varavina Mridupani, which is composed by Appaya Dikshitan, Ragam Mohanam. Nityanandam Paramasukhadam Evalam Yanamotam Vandvatitam gagana sadusham Sattvamasya thilaksyam Ekam nityam vimalam achalam Sarvadi takshi bhutam Bhavatitam Trigunarahitam Sadguntam Namani Gaga pa pa da pa sa sa di sa da da pa da pa ga ga di ga pa da sa da pa da pa ga ga di ga ga da pa ga di pa ga ga di sa. Ga 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 di ga pa ga pa pa ga ga da pa da da pa sa sa da ga ri ri sa sa da sa da 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 pa ga ga pa da sa da pa da pa ga ga di ga da di ga 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 di pa ga di. Paravina Mridu Pani Vanadu Halo Chanarani Pura Chirabam Baraveni Pura Nuta Kalyani Nirupama Shubha Guna Lola Nirata Daya Prada Shila Varada Priya Ranga Nayaki Vanchita Pala Dayaki Tarachita Tarajanani Jaya 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 Pani you all, let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of Mahasada Shiva. Om Nityananda Parama 
Shri Nityanandeshwar Paramashiva is the offering of the Nitya Seva. Deva Devo Atama Devata Sarva Bhoma Akhilanda Koti Brahma and Nayaka Shri Nityanandeshwar Parashakti Sameta Shri Nityanandeshwar Paramashiva Nitya Priya Nitya Mavadharaya Namaste Sharada Devi Kashmi Rapura Vasini Ahem, Prat, 
प्रार्थये प्रार्थये नित्यम विद्या
The next offering of the Uttamottama Seva at the feet of Devi Nityanande Shwari Parashakti Sameta, Sri Nityanande Shwara Paramashiva, is the offering of the Paramashiva Shakti Avishkarana. Deva Devo Uttama Devata Sarva Bhoma Akhilanda Koti Brahmanda Nayaka Sri Nityanande Shwari Parashakti Sameta, Sri Nityanande Shwara Paramashiva, Paramashiva Shakti Avishkarana Priya Paramashiva Shakti Avishkarana Avadharaya Nityanandam Paramasukadam Kevalam Yanamurtim Bandvatitam Gagana Sadrisham Tatvamasya Dilaksham Ekam Nityam Nimalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshi Bhutam Bhavatitam Triguna Rahitam Sadgurum Tam Namami Nityanandam, I welcome all of you with my love and respect. I am Manitya Jayashananda and I will be the host for today's Shakti Avishkarana. The offering of the space of, uh, of Paramashiva and Parashakti in the form of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagat Guru Mahasanidana, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashiva. Here I have with me Manitya Yoga Prana. Now would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Nityananda. My name is Manitya Yoga Prananda. I'm a Balasan of the Nityananda Gurukul and I'm 13 years old and I've been living here for the past four years. And Ma, we have a volunteer with us for today's Shakti Abhishkarana. Ma, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. 
So Ma's name is Pungo Dey. She's been she's coming from Tamil Nadu, and she's been a devotee of Swamiji for past fifteen years. So let us begin with a small introduction of the source of all, Parameshwar himself. Parameshwar is a primordial divinity in Hinduism, the ultimate reality and cause, which is self-effulgent, Swayam Prakasha, all-pervading, unchanging, beyond time, space, form, and causality. Today, an incarnation. walks among among <coughs> us in the form of the supreme pontiff of hinduism jagat guru maha sannidhanam his divine holiness bhagavan vidyananda parameshwar reviving the ancient science of the power manifestation from the vedagamas the vedagamas are directly revealed by parameshwar himself they are the ultimate eternal unchangeable truths a reference cited from these shastras or so scriptures is called the shastra pramana which we will be looking into shortly before we get into the power the knowledge and science of manifesting the vedagama truths and are transmitted through diksha or initiation which is a direct spiritual energy transfer his divine holiness has initiated millions across the globe into the science of awakening the third eye what is third eye let us get more into that agnya a third eye is the command center which is which actually connects you to the highest consciousness state and the divinity parameshwar himself through this communication the human ability expands and expresses in the form of the benefits of third eye is reading without two physical eyes enhanced intuition increased intelligent quotient ability to use all aspects of the brain's potential prakaya pravesham ability to enter and understand the other being and many mystical powers you are able to manifest the minute your third eye has awakened and today we are not just going to be demonstrating or expressing a shakti to you but we are also going to be understanding how shaktis the manifestation of power is going to be a result of a natural happening in this era as swam ji says manifestation of power is not just limited to you having a breakthrough in manifestation but it is a beautiful happening Now let us move on to the power today. You will be witnessing an extraordinary power by Manati Yoga Prananda today. Today's power is remote vision. So, uh, remote vision. What is remote vision? So, you uh, remote vision is a third third eye initiated balasin is able to manifest this power where the person the balasin will be able to see across far distance. and scan our volunteers house or any area or vicinity that she gives to the balasin so the balasin is able to sit here and will be able to scan a house or any area which is far away from this place or can be in the other end of the earth also she is able to go into the detail of where the house is what color every single detail you just be witnessing right now so we with this uh, let, let us get into this power manifestation Before we get into the power manifestation, let us enter into the Shastra Pramana of Remote Vision. The Shastra Pramana for the power of Remote Vision is from the Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, Sutra sixty three, Dharana forty. Sarvam deham chinmayam hi jagadva paribhavayet yoga panirji kalpena. मनसा परमोदय देहम चिन्मय हि जगद्वा परिभावयेत युगपन्निर्विकल्पेना मनसा परमोदय देहम चिन्मय हि जगद्वा परिभावयेत युगपन्निर्विकल्पेना मनसा परमोदय With this beautiful Shastra Pramana, let us dive right into the power manifestation. So first, Ma Pungo Day, you can give any area, any house, anything that you want Ma Yoga Prana to scan. Ongle ke enna ongle ke bead kudkala, any area ongle ke enna kudkala Ma Yoga Prana ongle bead alna ending enna soldering lo enna edo soldering lo ong scan pani ong kita solo. So niga kudkala any. Ma Pungude is telling Ma Yoga Prana to scan her mother's house. So now Ma Yoga Prana will be connecting with Parameshwar directly 
by chanting the mahavakya which is a direct passport to parameshwaratva itself so i request all of you to sit with your head neck spine in a straight line and chant the mahavakya with us om nityananda paramashivoham om nityananda paramashivoham om nityananda paramashivoham In the meantime, while Ma Nitya Yoga Prananda is scanning Ma Pungode's mother's house, I would like to share an apt pramana regarding or related to, relating to this power. So, what is an apt pramana? Apt pramana is the experience of great sages, rishis experiencing the powers of Parameshwara. So, let us dive right into the apt pramana. Uh, uh, there was there is actually a famous epic in Hinduism called Mahabharata, where the the war is between Pandavas and the Kauravas. So King Dhritarashtra, who is the father of the Kaurava uh, lead uh, Duryodhana, Prince Duryodhana, he is a blind king. So when the war is actually taking place, he is sitting in his own kingdom with his charioteer Sanjaya. So he asks his charioteer Sanjaya. what is happening in the land of kurukshetra what is happening to my sons and the sons of pandu that is the pandavas so sanjaya who was actually blessed with a divine uh, divine sight he he sits in the kingdom which is miles away which is miles away from the kurukshetra battle or kurukshetra land and he tells king dhritarashtra every single detail right he tells the number of people in each side of the army how how people are feeling the emotions that every single individual is feeling on that battlefield from the number of footmen foot soldiers cavalry how many elephants and the conversation which is happening between two individuals he is able to recite every single detail sitting miles away from the kurukshetra battlefield so this is the apta pramana relating to this remote region and exactly swami ji has initiated us into this extraordinary power where us balasins we are able to sit miles away and we are able to scan every anybody's house which is in the other side of the earth itself we are able to go to the detail of the color of the pillow to the placement of the furniture and where where your flower vase is what is the unique feature of the house and not only that that's just the surface level third eye is more of the depth level it goes to the depth of telling you what is the energy field of the house what furniture has to be moved for the positive energy circuit to for, uh, flow it goes to that depth also so this power is out, it's not only the surface level of just telling you the color of the pillow color of the car but also goes to the level of explaining the energy level of the house also and what can be done for the positive energy to flow through yes manithi yog prana has already done yes so parameshwara reveal parameshwara is revealed to me that Ah, uh, your house is it's like uh, your mom's house. It is in a village. It is in a village area, and it is a very it is surrounded with nature. So it's very nice area with a lot of nature. And I was able to see first there's the gate. There's like a wall around your house, and there's a gate. After you enter the gate, there's a beautiful rose plant. I was able to see there was a beautiful rose. There is a beautiful rose plant, and on the window sill there's a, a vase. and after you enter inside the house first it will be like a small narrow pathway and then the big hall it is a very open house it's not very close very open and um and it is just surrounded with nature and so after the na- narrow path a small pathway and then the big hall comes and to the side to the right side i will able to see the kitchen and to that side uh, to in inside the kitchen uh, to the right side in the, in the kitchen i was able to see another room where you can wash vessels and uh, thing and i was also able to see next to that a small uh, cabinet where you keep um, like where you store things and then this side um, af- after the big hall again a small narrow path comes with two more uh, i was able to see two more rooms to uh, to the side two more rooms and 
you enter inside it's um i was able to see one bathroom inside the house small bathroom inside and the main bathroom is outside like for taking bath and everything i was able to see outside the house um so and after the main bathroom is outside the house and then after that there's like my, there's a lot of grass and many uh, plants around the area and then again the compound wall this is what i was able to see it's like this the rough thing uh, the rough uh, picture of the house i was able to see. and just a little more details after that i was able to see two rooms in the nar- narrow path i was able to see two rooms and behind those two rooms i was able to see another small bathroom inside the house ma யோகா பிரா என்ன சொல்ற சொல்றாங்கன்னா உங்க அம்மாவோட வீடு ஒரு வில்லேஜ்ல இருக்கு சோ வீடு ரொம்ப பெருசா ஓபனா இருக்கா இந்த மாதிரி குட்டியா காம்பேக்டா கிடையாதா சோ என்ட்ரு ஆறு முன்னாடி ஒரு பெரிய கீட் இருக்கா என்ட்ரு ஆன உடனே நிறைய ரோஜா பூ செடி இருக்கா பக்கத்துல சோ ஆஹ் அந்த பாத்து எடுத்த உடனே வீட்டு உள்ள போற முன்னாடி விண்டோஸ் இல்லை பிளான்ஸ் செடிங்கெல்லாம் வந்துட்டு இருக்கா விண்டோ பக்கத்துல அப்புறம் உள்ள என்டர் பண்ணோடனே ஒரு பெரிய ஹால் இருக்கும் கொஞ்சமான ஒரு நேரோ பார்த்து ஆயிட்டு ஒரு ஹால் இருக்கும் வீட்டு உள்ள ரைட் சைடு ஹால் ரைட் சைடோட கிச்சன் இருக்கும் Uh, to the left side there's another small uh, place not a room but a place where you can wash vessels next to that there's a cabinet Ma, right side like the kitchen iruk left side la or kuttiyana space iruk anga da neenga bathroom ellame wash panni in the kitchen only left side okay uh, kitchen only left side la or bathroom or washing vessel area iruk then and after that there's a, again another small pathway like not very narrow but it's it is a pathway and then after that i was able to see two rooms or in a kutti pathway la or two rooms are pathala two rooms are there after you go through the narrow pathway narrow pathway pon only you see two rooms and then after those two rooms i was able to see a small bathroom inside the house and then out and then the, after that it leads outside the house after you go outside i was able to see another bathroom outside the house Uh, and then there are fully beautiful plants Ma, around. There are two rooms you pass and there is a bathroom in the house. Then you go outside the house. You go outside the house. You go outside the house and there is a bathroom in the house. Then there is a pooja room. Pooja room. அதுதான் அந்த டூ ரூம்ஸா ஓ ஓகே அண்ட் இந்த ஹால் டு தெப்ட் சைட் ஐ சா பெட்ரூம் இந்த ஹால் டு த லெப்ட் சைட் ஐ சா தெட்ரூம் சோ மா பூங்கோதே we just uh, my yoga pran just told what parameshwar revealed to her and i i just yeah, i just translated everything and ma pungo they say ma ellame scan panna correct ah irundha ma so ma pungo is telling everything that ma yoga pran scanned is completely right to the detail she went and also explained where the bathroom is the two rooms that she completely agrees with and uh, yes uh, yoga pran scanned it completely right and ma pungo they has confirmed saying it's right and we would like to offer our gratitude at the feet of the supreme font of hinduism jagat guru maha sanidhanam his divine holiness bhagavan nityananda parameshwar stay tuned for the upcoming events and join in tomorrow at 6:30 again for you you uh, shakti avishkarna thank you nityananda attitude and love at the divine lotus feet of the supreme pontiff of hinduism jagat guru maha sanidhanam his divine holiness bhagavan nityananda parameshwaram we thank you all for joining us and invite all of you to join us for tomorrow's segment of the uttam uttama seva 6 o'clock pm ist thank you nityanandam
ನಿತ್ಯಂದಂ ಪರಮಸುಖದಂಲಂ ಜ್ಞಾನಮೂರ್ತಿ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಾತೀತ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ತತ್ವಸ್ಯಾಕಂ ವಿಮಲಮಚಲ ಸರ್ವೀಸಾಕ್ಷಿಭೂತ ಭಾವಾತೀತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣರಹಿ ಸದ್ಗುರು ತಂ ನಮಿ Nityanandam offering our humble obeisances our humble pranam at the divine lotus feet of the supreme pontiff of hinduism jagat guru mahasanidhanam his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwara and welcoming all of the viewers across the world who are joining us after the uttamottama seva after the most auspicious best of the best offerings to parameshwara offered by the nityananda guru kul palasans and as we prepare for the live nityananda satsang every single day it is so amazing it is so exciting to see every so many people across the world who are joining us at this time no matter what time zone it may be in it is always at this time that we await the divine darshan of parameshwara himself supreme pontiff of hinduism and as millions across the world join us together in tuning in to nityananda tv on kailasa tv or in our very multifarious channels across the digital nation of kailasa at this time we have the opportunity as we prepare for the satsang to share the satsang and to spread the message of shri kailasa that parameshwara himself has come down to planet earth and now is the time now is the opportunity that we all have to have the grace the blessings and be imparted with be initiated by parameshwara himself as he is living and breathing on planet earth at this moment i encourage all of the viewers if you have not already and if you have let us continue sharing this said sang link in all of the social media platforms facebook twitter instagram youtube in all the social media platforms that you can think of that you are part of with all of your family friends or relatives in your whatsapp groups let us spread the message and tell the whole world of the greatest happening the most auspicious happening and the most life positive force that is on planet earth at this time it is an amazing experience being a part of and having been initiated having been able to experience the initiations and being a disciple a humble disciple of jagat guru mahasanidhanam his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwara let us spread this message this opportunity to each and every one and whatever we have benefited from the transformations from the initiations and everything let us spread that let us share that with one and all with all human beings and all living beings across the world no matter any kind of ethnicity any kind of background any class color race or any such identifications and spread the enrich the whole world the science of living enlightenment and the most beautiful opportunity to be able to offer our reverence and worship and be initiated into living enlightenment by swamiji i encourage all of the viewers you can take the links that are available down below and share this satsang as we prepare for the nityananda satsang and the live darshan of parameshwara live darshan of swami ji which is which will be coming up soon and i know all of you are awaiting that opportunity for today especially after yesterday's breakthrough satsang where i am sure so many of us have had so many different clicks so many different revelations and still we are chewing the deep profound truths that he revealed yesterday i know for myself i can say that i'm still chewing i'm still trying to understand grasp what his divine holiness swami ji had revealed yesterday and i am so much looking forward to 
what he's going to review today. I encourage all of the viewers once again, let us spread, let's enrich the whole world and take this opportunity to enrich the world, enrich on all the social media platforms with the links provided below. As we have been discussing, we have been sharing with you all, all of the viewers across the world at this time, this is the time that we have as well to start the this opportunity to take this opportunity right now to vote kailasa for the first time in history itself is holding the largest and the first ever vote for a extremely important significant topic especially in the times that we are going through currently. And today we will be presenting to all of the viewers in this satsang introduction, the very many ways which this, this decision, this vote that we cast, the Hindu votes for if vegetarianism should be taken up as a ritualistic practice, as a permanent practice, or it should not be taken up at all, this vote, how it will affect our entire world and our future. His Divine Holiness, with the guidance of His Divine Holiness, Kailasa is, is making this vote available to all of the two billion Hindus across the world to join and take joint responsibility for the future of our entire humanity. Before we go into this satsang introduction, I let us first understand for any of the new viewers who are joining us for the first time and you might be just scrolling through Facebook and suddenly you come upon Kailasa TV or Nityananda TV. If you're watching for the first time, let us first understand a brief video about who is Swamiji. We can now watch that video. And as old as sun as new as sunrise. Incarnations happened, gave a breakthrough to consciousness and gave opening to the next level. My responsibility is to introduce new consciousness which manifests powers of Sadashiva. Mahamandaleshwar of Mahanirvani Akada, the oldest apex body of Hinduism, I welcome every one of you. I have experienced Sadashiva in his completion and he has empowered me to transmit that experience to all of you. It's my commitment to all of you. I'll make you experience and manifest Sadashivatva, powers and state and space of Sadashiva. 
when you manifest powers naturally the state of sadashiva and space of sadashiva starts manifesting in you more power manifestation more integrity more unclutching more nirvikalpa samadhi more joy more restful awareness more responsibilism more enrich more bliss this tradition has a capacity to retain its authenticity and originality my purpose is to make this statement to the world hinduism is real ideas move from mind to mind energy moves from space to space cognitions move from body to body that is why even sadashiva needs a body he assumed the body because he needs body to transmit this cognitions to you whatever i am doing is reviving the original science as expressed in sanatana hindu dharma vedas and agamas of the hindu tradition given by sadashiva received by devi adapted by vishnu to run this universe is agama agamas insist on us serving beyond our frame whatever experience anubhuti i had by my guru's grace atma pramana i do acid wash with shastra pramana apta pramana the ancient masters experiences whatever finally stand i share it with the world as sakshi pramana i welcome everyone for the grand feast of sanatana hindu dharma let us go on contributing 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 Yes, after this beautiful introduction to His Divine Holiness, whom we are able to, blessed to be able to call Swamiji, we have another beautiful documentary that records and gives us the essence and the, the ultimate message of the nation of Sri Kailasa, which Swamiji has revived. this happening the revival of the nation of kailasa is the very purpose with which bhagwan paramashiva himself happened manifested on planet earth on the 2nd of january 1978 after the enlightened civilizations the enlightened enlightenment ecosystems were established by paramashiva thousands of years ago by so many different in so many different places across india and not only that many of the saptarishis had gone across the world and established 
the enlightenment ecosystems in so many different places, mirroring the enlightenment ecosystems that were established in the in India itself. For example, Iruvannamalai, Varanasi, Madurai are each powerful enlightenment ecosystems established by Paramashiva and Parashakti in order to be and to act as hubs for the continued process of enlightenment to happen, to attract the enlightenment, enlightened beings down to planet Earth, and of course, play a huge role in the continuous, the unbroken lineage of gurus and enlightened beings who have happened on planet Earth continuously since the time of Paramashiva himself. As his Divine Holiness himself has said, that Kailasa is nothing but Tiruvannamalai, the enlightenment ecosystem and the Guru Shishya Parampara gone right. It is the enlightenment ecosystem made, created and revived by His Divine Holiness with the purpose to bring super conscious breakthrough to the whole of humanity. With this, let us understand in a beautiful documentary called The Good God Country, Kailasa. Kailasa, the good God country. Hinduism has something great to offer. Hindu God, Paramashiva, is good. We love him, not just because he gives us what we want, but because he is good, and he has so much to offer to the world that makes the best nation. Hindu God has life positive, all-inclusive, good, and spiritual, social, political, and moral principles. Hindu principles are guaranteed solutions for all the major problems of humanity. Resettlement, violence and lawfare, impoverishment, inequality, environmental footprint, pandemic and bio-war, disputes, feminist movement, women's rights, child rights, minority rights, linguistic rights, human rights. Because Hinduism has the best to offer to the world, Kailasa, standing tall since 1994 for the grand narrative of Hinduism, is the good God's country. Founder of Kailasa, Paramashiva, and his 2008 incarnation, the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagadguru Mahasanidanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam, is the reviver of Kailasa, the enlightened civilization, the greatest Indonesian. His Divine Holiness was birthed by his predecessors of enlightened masters, great rishis, munis, siddhas, who predicted and recognized His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam, as an incarnation of Paramashiva, as per the science of incarnation described in Hinduism. From his first Chaturmasya at the age of three in the year 1980 until the age of 16 in the year 1994, the Supreme Pontiff was trained for the revival of Kailasa. He began reviving Kailasa from the age of 16 after the coronation on the 25th May 1994. Kailasa that we see today is 26 years of sincere hard work of the reviver and Hindu diaspora all over the world.
Lhasa has a potential population of 2 billion Hindus worldwide with over 100 million applications to its citizenship already applied. Hinduism has stood over 10,000 years as an enlightened civilization, has been a global beacon of spiritual and timeless wisdom, technology, and culture. The world's ancient civilization produced more than 40% of the world's GDP. Purpose of life is to experience oneness with the ultimate reality, Parama Shiva. Life exists on the planet Earth for last 40 billion years and five times life faced complete extinction on the planet but somewhere one dna one cell living organism is thrown out of planet earth preserved inside a volcano rock after millions of years comes back to earth due to gravity or whatever reason gets sent to the ocean and starts the life again Sanatana Hindu Dharma is the conscious science to give breakthrough to your DNA through natural selection process and to your consciousness through the conscious decision process. Sanatana Hindu Dharma is a sacred spiritual science. It is not bunch of do's and don'ts. No. Please understand. It is the revelations of sacred truths. Cosmic truths. Powerful cognition. It is still alive that science is available. Time tested. Foolproof. This science of living enlightenment is the complete solution for all the problems individual or society or modern day humanity is facing. Then you will understand all the problems of the modern day humanity Sanatana Hindu Dharma is solution. Whether the terrorism or climate change natural calamities are man-made calamities for all the problems humanity is facing the only solution is signs of living enlightenment revealed by Paramashiva from the Vedagamas in the modern day through this body I am a Hindu revivalist not by any revolution but by evolution and setting model community. Understand? Kailasa is reviving the ancient Hindu enlightened civilization. Paramashiva manifested this Kailasa mandala, the enlightenment ecosystem and the lifestyle. I am going to revive this whole enlightenment ecosystem Kailasa by creating a model Kailasas all over the world. I will work sincerely and revive this spiritual science 
which is the core for enlightenment ecosystem making you all manifest the state space powers being super consciousness and kailas of parama shiva and making all a first manifest parama shiva in a world ravaged by war ecological destruction hatred and division kailasa stands as a bold vision of human potential coexistence organic living and alignment with nature over the past 50 years the world has seen the creation of dozens of new countries and so if anything it would be odd not to see a new country formed in the 21st century without the protection of political legitimacy there is an imminent danger that the great tenets scriptures and signs of creating an enlightened civilization which spanned 56 states 200 kingdoms 1700 samsthanas and 10000 sampradayas will be forever lost to humanity the hindu diaspora are highly successful around the world they form the dispossessed diaspora who has been driven to other countries because they are unable to practice their religion authentically in their own country they have flourished in countries where they have been allowed to settle with religious freedom for example in the united states hindus are the most educated and highest earning community with 77% of them holding a bachelor's degree and 48% having an income of $100,000 or more. Although they are only 1% of the population, Hindus have launched 13.5% of the startups in the USA. They hold leadership, technical and creative positions in companies such as Microsoft, Google, Facebook, etc. This success has been repeated around the world in the UK, Canada, Australia, etc. James Kirkup in his 2015 Telegraph article says, "British Indians are not just the most successful immigrant group in this country's recent history, but the most successful group of people." Full stop. He continues, "More extraordinary than the rise in numbers is how it has taken place so harmoniously and profitably for this country and those in it british indians quite simply are among the most industrious accomplished and credible amongst us the best of british if you like the same article says that british hindus are barely 2% of the population but 12% of all the doctors Australia and Canada have understood the ingredients of fast economic growth of the country and are doing everything to attract the educated rich Hindu community. Hindus are the fastest growing migrant population in Australia. In 2017, 200% more Hindus have received invitation for Canadian permanent residency program. Even now, the Hindu diaspora worldwide are the richest. no divorce have no cases of drugs and substance abuse lowest mental disorder no depression hinduism is the only religion which neither converts nor kills absolutely non-violent the elite sect of mankind because the hindu diaspora worldwide and the supreme pontiff are successful in spreading their spiritual hindu message of openness and inclusiveness against the forces of hatred and exclusivity they have become the victims of relentless attacks by multi-armed apparatus of state power anti-hindu forces extremist caste supremacist militant organization want a one ideology hinduism under their exclusive domain what they cannot digest into themselves they systematically delegitimize and exterminate lawfare assassination attempts 
Character assassination of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagat Guru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam. Attempted assassination and assassinated Kailashians. Sexual assaults and rape of female monks of Kailasa. Objectification. Character assassination. State funded child abuse and sexual abuse on the children of Kailasa. Then I told I don't want to see a picture. Then I told don't, I don't want to see a picture. Then they, um, then they showed my picture. State operated embezzlement of funds, properties and assets donated by the Hindu diaspora worldwide for the purpose of the revival of Kailasa. to until now. Building a nation is not a project accomplished overnight or by virtue of hope. Kailasa is the manifestation of 26 years of sincere hard work, sacrifices, integrity of the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam, and the Hindu diaspora worldwide for the past 26 years for the enlightenment of humanity. This documentary gives us a brief summary, 20 minutes, where it has told exactly the history, the summary, and all of the details as a perfect introduction to Kailasa, the nation revived by His Divine Holiness.
I encourage all of the viewers, you can yourself explore the contributions of Kailasa and His Divine Holiness Swamiji in different platforms. First on kailasa.org, the official website for Kailasa, on nityanandapedia.org, which is the humble attempt to grasp and present the tremendous amount of contribution which His Divine Holiness has made for the world on a day-by-day basis since 1978. And as well as you can join all of the different social media platforms where Kailasa is available for you to become a part of the Enlightenment ecosystem and receive the direct initiation by His Divine Holiness Swamiji. I encourage each and every one of you to follow and subscribe now to the Kailasa Nityananda YouTube channel where over 5,000 videos are available for you to watch and be initiated into the most supreme transcendental wisdom of Sanatana Hindu Dharma revived by His Divine Holiness. On the YouTube channel, you can continuously have notifications sent to you when Kailasa TV is live. And as you are seeing, this is the YouTube channel available that is made available as a beautiful platform, an enlightenment ecosystem in itself to at any time, on any topic, at anything you are undergoing, to find the spiritual solution to that and uplift yourself at any given time. For the last few days, we have been continuously encouraging all of the viewers across the world, the millions of you who tune in during this time, to take this time, this opportunity, and let us assume the responsibility given to us inherently by Paramashiva himself as the bringers of peace for humanity. And you can do that by casting your vote for the first ever vote by that is held by Kailasa at the, at the links which will be provided below. You can go to that link right now and cast your vote. What we've been continuously encouraging all of the viewers is to understand that the amount of responsibility, the way that each individual can make a change just by casting this vote, just by leaning the our decision, making this decision can literally change the dynamic of the whole history in itself. The whole topic is vegetarianism versus the non-vegetarianism. And the whole world currently is ruled by certain industries, the food that rule over the food which is being partaken by the world's population. And there is a lot of facts which are available on the website provided, which can help you decide on how to vote, especially when considering that in many places of the places of the world, people go without food just because of the corruption within the food industry. Just because of that, and because of the meat industry, which is extremely overtaking the entire economics of the food industries. There are so many millions of people which are who are left without food and who have to really suffer through starvation and through malnutrition in so many of so many different diseases in so many different ways the facts are provided for you at the website for casting your vote where you can explore and understand for yourself why in sanatana hindu dharma we ultimately decide for non violence and we have established, it has been established by Paramashiva himself through the Agamas, through the scriptures, and then through the living, through the ap- applications, it has been established that non violent system of living, as well as the non violent ways of agriculture, of consuming the food, all of this is based in 
the non-violence and why this has to become our day-to-day -day function, our cognition for our very lives. This movement is something spearheaded by His Divine Holiness for the past two decades, since the time that he has lit literally started, at least I can say it, to at last 26 years when he's, since the time that he has started, encouraging nonviolent systems of living, as well as ensuring the vegetarian food and the vegetarian diet is taken up as a lifestyle for millions across the world is the main focus and one of the works which he has poured his time, life, and energy into. You can see all of the videos as well that Swear Swamiji has, has spoken on vegetarianism, why vegetarianism, why Hindus take up the decision to be vegetarian and to have and adopt a non-violent, entirely non-violent lifestyle. And as we are seeing through not only the COVID-19 pandemic, which has literally rampaged countries across the world and affected billions across the world, but also the uprise in global warming, in the extremely horrendous and terrifying facts that we are seeing in the en environmental decline. And not only that, we are seeing not only that, we are seeing the extreme amount of corruption that is going on in the economics, in the, in the way that political organizations and as well as people who are in power through extremely corrupt ideas and how they're entirely manipulating it so that money is in, a, in, a very, in the hands of very few people leaving the masses not able to function, not even able to live a decent lifestyle. With all these ideas taken in hand, the vegetarianism, this simple decision can affect all of these, can literally just turn down all of these and turn the way that our lifestyle is, uplift the quality of life for the entire humanity, for each individual on planet Earth. And that is why His Divine Holiness has started this movement. Recently, one of, the, one of the most powerful movements that His Divine Holiness has started, initiated, is the Sri Kailasa Uniting Nations for a Hunger-Free World and for Nutritious Food. Literally, His Divine Holiness is embarking, is venturing to unite the nations. They bring together the political leaders of the world and advocate for the Hindu lifestyle in that platform in order to bring the legitimacy to the Hindu lifestyle and the non-violent way of life that has been that has been taught and practiced in Hinduism since Paramashiva himself came down to planet Earth. Sri Kailasa Uniting Nations for a hunger-free world, nutritious food. I invite all the viewers, you can, ex you can yourself see the, this movement and its various contributions on the Facebook page and on kailasa.org. How just through this movement, His Divine Holiness, since it, the, time of its, the time of its inauguration, the Nityananda Annalaya, Kailasa Nityananda Annalaya, and this movement, Sri Kailasa Uniting Nations for a Hunger Free World, is working to eliminate hunger, bring about extremely important values and lifestyle that are based, that are rooted and from Hinduism through to every single human being on planet Earth. Actually, if we see from 19th November 2002 was the earliest record of the Nityananda Annalaya, the temple for the service of free nutrition meals. The place was Pavarakundru where His Divine Holiness 
had has enlightenment experience at the age of 11 and a half his divine holiness personally cooked and served food for each of the devotees on the traditional banana leaf as they sat and ate inside the building is the first monastery built by his divine holiness guru from him here nityananda analaya was a first responder responder on the scene after natural disaster on many occasions including cyclone thane in 2011 during kumbh mela in 2016 it served food for 100000 people per day during the current covid-19 pandemic kailasa extends its services via the nityananda analaya to ensure those who are affected by the economic collapse and global lockdown are entirely taken care nityanandeshwara hindu temple in los angeles is collaborating with the inland valley hope partners and hollywood food court in la to feed the citizens in the los angeles area affected by tremendous social unrest due to the horrific murder of black american citizen george floyd in police custody in broad daylight all of which is going on again as the backdrop of the covid-19 pandemic at this time nityanandeshwara hindu temple in los angeles is directly standing to continue to serve humanity with the guidance and blessings of his divine holiness bhagwan sri nityananda parameshwar of the kailasas nityananda analaya and in collaboration with the shri kailasa united nations for hunger free world never ceases and continues its service for the world no matter the pandemic no matter the crisis going on outside in the year 2012 the state government and many operating corrupt forces anti hindu forces had influenced the authorities in order to close the bank of his of his divine holiness and and the organization which ultimately stopped the inflow of money and made it impossible for the adinavasis and his divine holiness himself to pay for food and to and to have and bring in the basic necessities into the aliyam this was one of the extreme atrocities which happened illegally against his divine holiness and kailasa and the movement the adhinans against hinduism itself and not only that as as well when his divine holiness needed to leave india he himself had gone through and had gone through so many instances where he himself had not had food but even in those situations even in that time he never and he he never stopped the food that will be served through kailasas nityananda analaya the kailasas nityananda analaya continues its ever burning stove in order to feed the people in order to serve the people 
with over 1 billion meals served today. There are numerous kitchens, at least over 600 kitchens, established foundations for Nityananda and Nalia to serve and to continue to serve the world till today. Over 100 and 1,100 free organic, organic sattvic meals served during Ativaradar Vaibhavam, the Lord who is worshipped once in 40 years on July 2019. Kanchi Saragnapitam collaborated with Sri Kailasa's Uniting Nations for Nutritious Food and Hunger Free World and offered Annadan free organic sattvic food to more than a lakh devotees who gathered to have the divine sacred darshan on this rare auspicious phenomena that happens only once in 40 years in the history. Our Annadanam continued for 15 days, reaching out to over a lakh devotees who flocked the temple. Even after the Vaibhavam, the festival was over, we reached out to feed all the workers and police officials who were working on the field to clear all the arrangements made for this festival. On the auspicious day of Nityananda Purnima, 5th June 2020, Sri Kailasa is celebrating Nityananda Purnima. Today marks the 31st year after His Divine Holiness first enlightenment experience. We remember and celebrate the happening of His Divine Holiness as the avatar, the embodiment of Paramashiva and his ultimate compassion to descend on planet Earth for all of us. In all Purnima days, Nityananda Sangha serves free food to the public and today has over 600 locations all over the world started when His Divine Holiness was merely 24 with the vision for no hungry person in the world. Today, with over 1 billion meals reserved, the 1 billion meals were served, the Nityananda Analaya continues its ever-burning stout. And this is just a mere glimpse into the tremendous amount of work that His Divine Holiness has poured into ensuring that Nityananda Annalaya and Sri Kailasa Uniting Nations for a hunger-free world continues to serve the whole world and continues to serve each and every human being. His Divine Holiness continues the work to bring more and more people the opportunity, the availability of the services of Kailasa, not only through these basic needs like food and, and the medical care and the basic necessities, but as well, the spiritual upliftment, the knowledge and the initiation for transcending the very consciousness itself. In this way, His Divine Holiness has worked tremendously and single-handedly for the upliftment of the quality of life for every single being on human on planet Earth. Let's now understand from Mahaprabha Swami coming from Adi Kailash Sarvagnipitam and Mahadeva Smarana further on why you should vote today on this issue that we are bringing to the board that Kailasa is hosting, and we'll hear now from them further on this topic. Nityananda, my name is Ma Nitya Prabhananda Swami, Purna Sanyasi of Nityananda Order. I've been with Swamiji since year 2003, met His Divine Holiness in California, United States. So it has been such a blessing for me to be with Bhagawan for past 16 to 17 years. Today, 
I'm so honored to come and share myself and Ma Reva Samarana here about the first time we're going to Hindus having the right to speak about Hinduism, cast our voting. Let's um, introduce Ma Reva Samarana. Please go ahead. Nityananda, everyone. This is Ma Nityadeva Samarana. I come from Singapore and have been connected with Swamiji since the year 2011. I have been living as a part of his family as an Adinivasi for past four years now. So today we are privileged to introduce this and share with all of you all how important it is that Hindu voice matters. It is very important we do vote, all Hindus out there vote. So when you are voting, you have to choose from these three options. Non-vegetarian food, it should be kept as a lifestyle for Hindus. Option one is regularly. Option two is they can consume it on rituals. And option three is they should not consume non-vegetarian food at all. I invite each and every one of you out there do cast your vote. All of your votes really, really matters. Yes. So here, we're going to just share a little bit so we understand the importance of vegetarianism, the importance to have that vegetarianism as a lifestyle. Right? This human body is naturally designed for vegetarian food. The inner mechanism like feeling, thinking, words, everything is designed to function with vegetarian food. It is like a generator which can handle only 220 volt current or a UPS, right? Which can handle only 220 volt current, but it is given 20,000 volt current now. What will happen? It will get fused, right? So same way, if the system is designed by the nature for vegetarian food and non-vegetarian food is constantly dumped into due ignorance, the result will be what we will need to face. Yes, ma. Swamiji very beautifully shares that many people present that they present different arguments. No, in ancient times, human beings were non-vegetarian. Swamiji shares, no, they were fruit eaters. They were vegetarians, leaf eaters and fruit eaters. From the Akashic record, which is the cosmic archives, Swamiji revealed the truth to us. The Vedic civilization was pure vegetarian. They were not non-vegetarian civilization. They were not non-vegetarian civilization. There were a few animal sacrifices in few rituals. But that is like in one year, some hundred animals would be sacrificed. That's all. Now, every year, billions of animals are killed for food. Billions. Only when they started killing the animals to save themselves, to protect themselves against the animals, they started thinking that disposing of the dead animals is a very difficult job. Mm. Eating them might be a better way of disposal. And that is how human beings started making their stomach as a graveyard for animals. Originally, humans were not destined for meat eating. Human body is designed for vegetarianism. Yes, ma'am. Completely agree. Yes. Answer. So now we will look into it. Energy, how the energy of the food matters in our life, right? See, the food without anxiety, fear, depression, uh, bio memories, if they are consumed by a person, the energy with which they think, the energy with what 
which they utter words the energy which they act the energy which they feel the feeling okay everything will be aligned to the natural source energy it will be aligned to the nature which is the inner potential energy right unfortunately unfortunately the food with fear depression anxiety and the bio memory which is pain because of its popularity and availability it has become a mainstream lifestyle this was one of the greatest calamities that has happened to the humanity so true yes. the consumption of pure food is really important in sanskrit there are three words there are three doshas which are jati dosha jati dosha nimitta dosha and ashraya dosha what does they what do they mean basically these different kind there are different kind of impurities because of which the few, food gets impure by its very nature by its muscle memory and by the persons handling it it so the first jati dosha by its nature if it is obtained by stealing killing or depriving somebody it is impure food because it is stolen food even while you eat you will have the anxiety and you you will quickly grab the food and finish it before somebody snatches it away from you by its very nature it is stolen it is robbed after killing it is impure it is the first level of impurity mm. which non vegetarian food has because the flesh of the animal is stolen after it is killed then the second impurity the second dosha is nimitta dosha it is by its muscle memory the non vegetarian food is impure how the way the food comes to someone when it comes to someone the non vegetarian food comes with so much of anger fear depression bio memories are led the the non vegetarian food is led with all these things mm-hmm. anger fear depression so it can never be anywhere near to pure food the third impurity is ashraya dosha which is the people handling the food understand who handles this non vegetarian food people who are killing these animals they are murderers so when they anything touched by a murderer is going to carry the energy in it right the person actually whoever handles add little more poison to the food we are consuming in form of non vegetarian food this explains the amount of impurity in the non vegetarian food carries vegetarian food on the contrary is natural part of the whole bio memory with vegetarian diet the thinking becomes more subtle and settled the agitation the anger the aggression it disappears swami ji shares i have seen in my life in my travels all over the world meeting different cultures civilizations people i can tell you from my experience people who live as vegetarians their bio memory is very high their bio memory is very high i can give you various deeper understandings about it constantly the emotions that are cherished be, that are cherished become the source of the bio memory bio energy whatever is the source of someone's bio energy impacts their thinking it is like a vicious cycle just the right food the pure food which is pure by its nature by right persons handling it by the way it is brought to you this pure food alone is enough to kindle to awaken the natural energy you are carrying what swami ji calls as kundalini shakti the inner potential energy our bio energy which all of us have 
just very powerful sharing. We need to have this knowledge. Yes. So if you are a spiritual person, be a vegetarian. All human beings who are seeking, who are seeking the spiritual life should live a vegetarian lifestyle. If one understands this truth, you become what you eat. What you eat becomes you. One can see very clearly how the non-vegetarian food adversely impacts the bio memory and muscle memory and how vegetarian food comes to you with higher intelligence, right? like producing energy directly from either air and space and going to become part of you. Okay? Non-vegetarian food destroys all the possibilities of manifesting powers and awakening the third eye. All powers manifest from oneness with Sadashiva. Yeah. And non-vegetarianism is completely opposite of the principle of oneness. You can see when operating from oneness, when one cannot even think, you know, of killing another being for a snack. And does the indigested when does not allow the body or mind to settle with the higher experiences and elevated states of consciousness. If continues to keep the body and mind in binding, depression, depressing thought currents. Yes, it will keep our body and mind binding with depressing thought currents. Vegetarianism is the biggest prerequisite for manifesting the powers of Sadashiva. It is not only support the third eye awakening, but also tunes the body and mind to receive and retain the highest experience and initiations when showered by the avatar. Yes, vegetarian is the lifestyle of enlightenment. So true, Ma. So vegetarianism is the lifestyle of enlightenment. You become what you eat. One of the shocking truth Swamiji is sharing in his own words, one of the shocking truths I found is the kids fed with the toxic food, animal-based or the chemical-based. Please understand Pesticides, fertilizers, these chemical fed, fo chemical based food is equivalent to animal based food. Both harm us equally on our possibility for enlightenment. Few days before, I was telling, I can lift even if you are 500 kg just by a look, by awakening your Kundalini. But I cannot lift even if five grams of toxic is sitting mm -hmm. in your body. Even five grams of toxic because they are dead weight. Swamiji shares how powerfully he can awaken one's kundalini and can just make a person levitate if that person's body is based on vegetarian food. Violence-based food, which is derived from killing the animals and life negative chemical based toxic food both of them harm the system equally this is very very important for all of us to understand it is not just the non vegetarian food but it is also the food which is filled with all the chemicals and fertilizers which we need to avoid we can only consume organic vegetarian sattvic food. The organic vegetarian food is not just for health. It gives you an inner space, the physical system 
and physiological flow to develop the highest psychology. To develop the highest psychology, not only your physical system, but even your physiological flow needs to cooperate. Various components of you need to be integrated to experience the state of Sadashiva, Paramashiva. What you eat contributes to what you think and what you think you cognize. What you cognize contributes to who you are. So what you eat directly affects who you are. And when what is in your plate really matters because that is going to become you. What is in your plate? Because that is going to be you. Swamiji shares, what is in your toilet flush does not matter because it is out of you. What is in your plate matters because it is going to become you. Understand? But all of you treat almost both the same. This does not matter. That does not matter. No, that may not matter, but this matters. What is out of you may not matter. What is going in you matters. For state of Sadashiva, what is going to go inside you matters. Your brain is constructed of all these higher things. When you don't explore the higher things, you are bound to feed lower things and keep your brain engaged for survival. If you don't explore the higher dimensions of consciousness, you will force yourself into drugs. Try to explore the imaginary, illusory dimensions of the universe. Your brain is constructed for multiple possibilities and you can't keep quiet without using them. It is very important for us to understand this. Exploring is our basic instinct. Better explore the universe. Reality, not delusion. Adi Nivasis, Swamiji has given a beautiful thing for Adi Nivasis to follow. Adi Nivasis mean, Adinivasi means a person who decides to align what he eats, how he sleeps, when he wakes up, when he goes to bed, everything to Sada Shivatva. Aligning everything to Sada Shivatva. So that is what I wanted to share on how important it is on what we are consuming, what goes inside our system. Yes, thank you, Ma. So this is our sharing today and we're going to conclude with more powerful information and meditation techniques. Handing over to Ma Sadashiva Priya. Yes, Ma. It has now you. come time for each and every one of us. Let's take this few minutes before the Nityananda Satsang. Let us hold the deep space, chanting the Mahavakya and holding, keeping the Satya Sankalpa to manifest whatever we want into reality as we prepare for satsang. I invite all the viewers now, if you have not already, let's take these few moments to cast your vote and let us take the responsibility for Hinduism and the future of the entire humanity itself. So right now you can take these next few minutes to just cast your vote and let us come back and you can join us in a short meditation before preparing ourselves, before going into the satsang. Sit with your head, neck and spine in a straight line and let us intensely chant the Mahavakya. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham
Ciao. I bless you all. Let you all open all your three eyes and manifest the powers of Mahasadashiva. Oh.